Weapons from dozens of countries, including Russia, China and the United States, have fallen into the hands of Daesh. That's according to a report released by Amnesty International. Here are some of the details. The organization lists at least 25 countries whose weapons have ended up in Daesh's control. Now, these weapons were used by Daesh to commit human rights abuses, including torture, sexual violence and the killing of peace activists and journalists. The majority of arms were obtained by Daesh after they took over the city of Mosul in Iraq and seized arms stocks from the Iraqi military. Daesh has also been able to exploit the poorly regulated arms trade. So let's go to Russia, Abdul Rahim. He's a, a campaigner for arms control, security and human rights at Amnesty International. She joins me now live from London. Uh, Russia, thank you very much for joining us on TRT World. Let's just start uh, with um, how you discovered your, your organization discovered that these arms and traced their, their origins, as it were, to those countries we've just mentioned? Well, we worked with uh, an external consultant organization um, called Armament Res Research Services. Um, and we surveyed over a hundred, uh, well, thousands actually, of videos and images of uh, arms in the hands of Islamic State. We also, um, spoke to sources on the ground, um, like military personnel, aid workers, etc. And then we paired those findings with our own research on arms transfers to Iraq and Syria. And we discovered that the majority of those arms had been sourced from uh, over 25 countries, the majority of which were Soviet era uh, weapons and Eastern Bloc weapons, uh, which were gained as a result of massive arms proliferation into the region for decades. And how much of the arms that Daesh has, if it's possible to determine, uh, come from purchasing things in, a, in the actual market, the arms market? And what quantity is that compared to, say, when they take over a place like Mosul and just discover Iraqi army arms caches? Well, what our research uh, indicated is that the vast majority of arms in the hands of Islamic State have been gained through looting of Iraqi military stocks. We made that conclusion by looking at um, weapons within the Iraqi military stocks and found huge similarities between the arms that are in uh, um, Islamic State's uh, arsenal and uh, what was uh, acquired by the Iraqi government. Now, there are other sources of, uh, of gaining weapons, um, as you mentioned, uh, illicit arms transfers, um, also from defections of other opposition armed groups. Uh, as, as well as um, battlefield capture, but the vast majority of weapons that have been acquired by Islamic State have been done so through, through military gains, as, as you say, through battlefield capture and looting. Okay, Russia Abdul Rahim from Amnesty International, thank you.